it's important for a brand to at least have a personality. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, I think even though what I tweet from 90 plus sellers isn't necessarily always me, my voice, Jeannie Fanagan, um, you know, it, it does help to kind of make it personal and make sure, I, I agree with you Hadley, that there should be, you know, either one or, you know, a, at least a unified voice mm -hmm. for a brand because customers do notice like when something's off and they notice when they're being talked at rather than, mm -hmm. you know, engaged in a conversation. So it's just important that whoever is kind of behind that brand has the, you know, the social finesse, I guess, to be able to, you know, be a human behind that brand mm -hmm. face, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for Boloco, well, actually, what I tell anybody who's starting a Twitter account, what, if it's a personal Twitter account, you have a personality already. You have things that you like, that you dislike, things that you want to talk about, just your personality in general. So I think for a brand, it's really important when you're starting a brand's Twitter account to determine those things and what kind of things we want to talk about, what kind of personality are we going to be. So for Boloco, we always say we're 100% honest, appealingly off-center, don't take ourselves too seriously and not braggy. So luckily, I'm, I guess, appealingly off -center, hopefully appealingly, but off-center kind of person. I'm kind of sarcastic, so I got lucky in the sense that, and probably one of the reasons I was hired is because my voice does luckily match up to the Boloco voice. But um, I mean, originally our Twitter account was started by our CEO in 2008. He started it. He was doing it all himself, John Pepper then passed it on to another woman named Sarah Steele Rogers, and then I took over for her. Oh, and Sarah. Yeah. yeah and, mm -hmm. um, so, and it was actually interesting because when I started at Boloco, there were some people that were really, really in tune to Sarah's specific voice from mm -hmm. the Twitter account. And there were a few people that were like, this doesn't sound like Sarah anymore. And they knew that there was some little difference as much as I was trying hard to keep it exactly the same. There is, there is a difference. Different people are going to say a little bit different things. Um, but now we're actually with the, using the system of desk.com starting to branch out because I can't spend all of my time every day just doing Twitter content for Boloco. I do video content and all kinds of other things that need my focus. So we're trying to have some of the general managers and different people, our VP of operations, our head food guy, our CEO, our marketing director, our, our CFO, our VP of HR are all in this system. So if there is something, you know, if people are asking about general questions about food, it's fine. But if someone's complaining about something very specific to one restaurant or has a question about, you know, uh, HR that I have no idea we can assign that out to other people. So while their voice might not be exactly the same, at least the people get the answer that they need.